Hello and welcome. We're so glad that you've chosen the Moleculite iX. To ensure that you have the best experience using the device, we've prepared a step-by-step -step video guide for you. The Moleculite iX is very simple to use, and we know that the iX will make a difference in your work and in the treatment of your patients. So let's get started. Just like any battery-operated device, it's important to make sure the Moleculite iX is fully charged so it's ready to go when you are. This is the Moleculite iX connecting cable, and this is the Moleculite iX power cable. The first step is to connect the Moleculite iX connecting cable into the port on the display screen. Then, connect the micro USB power cable into the charging port on the side of the device. Now you're ready to connect the ends of both cables into an electrical outlet. The device and the display screen charge independently, so it's important to ensure both are charging. You'll be able to confirm that the device battery is charging when you see the battery status LED flashing. It'll show red for low, amber for medium, and green for fully charged. The iX display screen charging status is found in the top right corner of the screen. It takes approximately five hours to fully charge and should be done at the end of the day. To turn on the iX, simply hold down the device power button for three seconds until the LEDs flash and come on. Then hold down the display screen power button for three seconds as well. You'll see that the system status LED and the battery status LED are both green, and you can see the display screen powering up. Just like when the iX display screen was charging, you can monitor the battery status on the top right corner of the display screen. And now, the device is ready to take those important images. Beginning with a standard light image, first press the home button to turn on the display screen. Then slide the slider and select the iX camera app. Ensure the rocker switch is in standard mode by toggling the rocker switch up. Then watch the rangefinder LED as you move the device to and from the wound. You'll see it change from amber, this means the device is too far or too close to the target, to green. When the rangefinder LED is green, you're at the correct distance to take the photograph. During standard imaging mode, the ambient light sensor will be amber. Select the camera icon to capture an image. You can improve the autofocus by manually tapping the screen on the exact area you want in focus, and a focus square will appear. Press the capture image button for a still photograph. Or if you'd like to take a video, press the video icon in the app. Then tap the screen to obtain focus, then press start recording. As you move the camera around the area, note the rangefinder LED and make sure it remains green in color so you know you're at the optimal distance to capture the images you need. When you're done, simply press stop recording at the bottom of the screen. It's that easy. Taking a fluorescence light image is quite similar to taking a standard light image. First press the home button to turn on the display screen. Then slide the slider and select the iX camera app. But now, turn the room lights off. Check the ambient light sensor LED beside the target you are preparing to image. When it's green, the light is optimal, meaning it's dark enough for fluorescence light imaging. Press the rocker switch down, and you'll see the ambient light sensor turns off. Watch the rangefinder LED as you move the device to and from the wound. When the LED is green, you're all set. Once again, you can improve the autofocus by manually tapping the screen on the exact area you want in focus, and a focus square will appear. Then press the Capture Image button to take a still photograph. Or if you want a video, press the video icon in the app. Then tap the screen to obtain focus, and then press Start Recording. And remember, as you move the device around the target, maintain a steady distance so the rangefinder LED is always green. Also note that the LED will automatically time out after 90 seconds. If this happens, simply toggle the rocker switch up and back down to continue imaging. And lastly, press stop recording when you have all the video footage you need. Toggle the rocker switch back up to turn off the violet LEDs. At any time, you can scroll through, access, and review the images you've taken. 
select Photo Browser in the lower right corner of the iX Camera app. You'll see that the thumbnails of both photos and videos appear. Now you can scroll through and select the files you'd like to review full screen by tapping on the image. You can zoom in on any captured image as well. Select the back button to return to the thumbnails and view additional images. To review a video, select a video and press play. You can then swipe forward and back as well. Then select the back button again to return to the thumbnails. To delete an image, simply select an image, click on the trash can, and then confirm. Whether you want to share a photo file or track and compare with previous images, downloading the images from the iX is no problem. The images and videos are stored in JPEG and AVI formats. Disconnect the USB cable from the charging brick and plug it into the USB port on your computer. Connect the other end of the connecting cable into the port that charges the display screen. Note that the device is both Mac and PC compatible. Then, click the prompt Allow to access the device on the computer. Also, close any autoplay window on the computer as well. Go to My Computer, point your mouse at Portable Devices, and double-click to open. Then double-click on Internal Storage, double-click on the DCIM folder, and then again on the folder of images. Then you can simply highlight your selection of videos and images and drag and drop them to any folder on your computer. Then you can organize and view the images at your convenience. Turning the iX off is very straightforward. While the screen is on, double-click the Home button and slide upwards on the app. Then hold down the display screen power button for three seconds and slide the power off. Lastly, hold down the device power button for three seconds. You'll see that all the LEDs go off, power is off, and you can now go ahead and safely clean the device. Cleaning the Moleculate iX is a very simple process, but it's important to make sure the device is completely turned off before cleaning. Once the power is off, clean the iX with a disinfectant wipe, like Cava wipes for example. Then repeat once more as per the manufacturer's instructions, cleaning all surfaces with a new disinfecting wipe as per the manufacturer's recommendations. Remove a new lens cleaning towelette from an unopened packet and wipe the glass surfaces. In addition to the display screen, there are also four windows on the back of the device. After wiping the glass surfaces, examine them carefully to make sure there's no debris or residue remaining. Now the Moleculite iX is ready to use whenever you are. Thanks again for choosing the Moleculite iX. And thanks for taking the time to learn how to use and maintain your device. We know it will help your clinical practice and your patients.